Hello everyone, it's Spurs Radio 96 here, and welcome to the 8th episode of the FIFA 20 Borussia Mönchengladbach career mode. We begin today's episode with Bundesliga action here at the Volkswagen Arena, where Mönchengladbach will be playing VfL Wolfsburg. If you haven't checked out the last episode, I advise you to do so. It was a pretty good episode, actually. Uh, we became the first team in Germany to beat the runaway leaders Bayern Munich. We confirmed a uh, top spot in the Europa League Group J with a draw at home to AS Roma. And then we followed that up with a uh, 2-1 victory at home to bottom club VFB Stuttgart. As you can see there, two strikers are under intense scrutiny here. Virg Waghorst of VFL Wolfsburg and Andre Silva of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Rightly so, both strikers having an excellent start to uh, the domestic season. And uh, in particular, uh, Andre Silva. He's uh, also been doing very well on the European front as well. Uh, both clubs are high in the table. Borussia Mönchengladbach currently sit fifth place with 30 points. Two points behind fourth place Borussia Dortmund and only eight points behind the league leaders. VfL Wolfsburg are in seventh position with 25 points. Um, but uh, uh, so a pretty steady start from VfL Wolfsburg and Borussia Mönchengladbach who look to continue this fantastic uh, unbeaten domestic uh, form uh, nearly I believe are like 10 plus games or something now so uh, very very encouraging form as you can see there is VFL Wolfsburg's lineup uh, very jumbled up lineup that's for sure looks like a a free four free formation or something like that here is <coughs> excuse me Borussia Mönchengladbach's lineup of course the new players like Newhorst the number 32 and Turum they have been promoted, of course, to the first team as their, uh, due to their excellent uh, recent form. So uh, hopefully they can continue that here at the uh, Volkswagen Arena. So let's begin the first half highlights on the 11th minute. And Munchen Gladbach have the ball. Here's Kramer. Finds Turum on the, on the right. Out wide. Turum's crossed it in. Great vision! Oh, and Kramer hits the bar. What a start. That would have been for Borussia Munchen Gladbach. Brilliant vision there from Marcus Turum to find Kramer charging into the box and Kramer incredibly unlucky there with an excellent strike hitting the crossbar. Onto the 18th minute, Mönchengladbach have a, a goal kick and oh, Ginter's giving it away to Jar Victor and Mönchengladbach are have to, are gonna suffer here and they do. Stefan has put VfL Wolfsburg in front. 20 minutes played and Borussia Mönchengladbach have shot themselves in the foot again another stupid defensive mistake and the Wolfsburg fans celebrate lazy terrible pass there from Ginter and uh, well Wolfsburg pounced with Jal Victor and uh, Waghorst the number nine and of course Stefan with a brilliant finish there Jan Sommer no chance with that ferocious strike and another defensive issue has damaged Borussia Mönchengladbach once again I mean we bottle it against uh, Borussia Dortmund and uh, also we've given away some silly goals against uh, the likes of Werder Bremen and VfB Stuttgart and it's currently 1-0 to VfL Wolfsburg and there goes the half-time whistle and uh, other than that it was really a close uh, competitive first half both teams having chances um, but obviously you know, VfL Wolfsburg managed to uh, take the opportunity that we sad, uh, that Mönchengladbach sadly gave him after a, a horrible mistake there from the centre back Ginter means Stefan Strike means at half time it's VfL Wolfsburg 1 Borussia Mönchengladbach 0 at a rainy Volkswagen arena onto the 53rd minute Mönchengladbach on the front foot in the early stages of the second half is a sunny play Silver's in the box as well Marcus Firm Hazard's now got the ball now and he's going to take a strike not once but twice and he's at the bar and no chance with the third either. Onto the 75th minute. Munchen Gladbach still pushing and pressing their way to get the equaliser. His play. Forgan Hazard. In the box he goes. And he's giving it to a sunny play. And it's a deflected strike, I think. And a sunny play with a bit of fortune from one of the Wolfsburg defenders. Have put Borussia Munchen Gladbach level on 77 minutes. Forgan Hazard. I thought he was going to find maybe Silver. And Kramer was there as well in, in the box, looking for it, but he gave it to a sunny play. And with a, yep, it was indeed deflected off the chest of the number 32. And VfL Wolfsburg have now given up a goal. And Borussia Mönchengladbach a level through a touch of fortune. Now, it wasn't the best, most powerful of strikes, but a sunny play's seventh goal in the Bundesliga. 
means Borussia Mönchengladbach are uh, deservedly level after our pressure in the second half. 83rd minute, Mönchengladbach are growing in confidence. Bisbiani gives it to Silva. Asani playing as a mistake at the back for Wolfsburg. And play going to take a chance. And he has taken the chance. And would you believe it? Borussia Mönchengladbach have come from 1-0 down to lead at VFL Wolfsburg. And another three points looks set to be on the doorstep of Borussia Mönchengladbach. And the unbeaten streak is looks set to continue. Asani play with two goals. Both of them rather fortunate and very lucky. The second one, a horrible mistake from uh, one of the defenders at the back. Mistimed his tackle. Horribly wrong. Maybe it's because of the sliding conditions. But Asani play now got eight goals in the Bundesliga. Two here. And, uh, well, Borussia Mönchengladbach take a rather lucky 2-1 lead. And the full-time whistle does blow. And Borussia Mönchengladbach have beaten... VFL Wolfsburg in their own backyard despite uh, oh, two very fortunate and lucky goals from Munchen Gladbach in the second half. Asani play put the, drew the team level through a deflected strike with a not very powerful shot but then the second one was very 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 fortunate for Munchen Gladbach as it, one of the Wolfsburg defenders slipped and gave Asani play the opportunity and he took the opportunity to put Munchen Gladbach 2-1 up and win the game at the Volkswagen Arena. 2-1, the final score. Very unfortunate and very harsh on VFL Wolfsburg, but we have to put that to one side as we return to our home, Borussia Park, where this time we will commence the third round of the DFB Pokalvi German Cup. And uh, it's another revisit. It's uh, another chance to beat Werder Bremen. We beat them in the league in one of the most uh, actually competitive and exciting games I played uh, this season. As manager Borussia Mönchengladbach, as you can see in the round of 16, we got Der Klassiker with uh, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich facing each other. So some really interesting ties going into this uh, round of the German Cup, the DFB Pokal. Paul Kirk scored three goals in the last three matches, according to that statistic. He was the goal scorer when Mönchengladbach played Werder Bremen uh, here at Borussia Park in the Bundesliga. That game finished 2-1. The strikers for um, uh, that game were uh, <coughs> Marcus Turum and Asani Play. Of course, if they won't be playing this match, the reserve team have a chance to stretch their legs and put Munchen Glamack into the next round of the DFP Pokal. The previous DFP Pokal match was the second round at Borussia Park where we thumped third division side Puben Münster 6 2. Yes, that's right, 6 2. An emphatic display from the reserve team. And no doubt the boys of Borussia Mönchengladbach's reserve team looking for, particularly the likes of Johnson and Sakara, demoted to the reserve team. Certainly in tonight's, in today's match, they have a point to prove in the snowy Borussia Park. There's Werder Bremen's lineup. No kidding around from there. And they've got the full first team. I think uh, pretty much nearly enough exactly the same first team that visited Borussia Park in the Bundesliga. So let the first highlights begin. And on the seventh minute, and we've made a mistake at the back, and there's bitten court for, for Werder Bremen. He's fighting off a challenge. And that's a great tackle there from Jatska. But it's it's going to be a penalty for Werder Bremen. Werder Bremen have a penalty in nine minutes. And Tony Jatska cannot believe it. That looked like a fair tackle to me. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, I don't know. I mean, he did touch the ball, but maybe he just maybe it's the way he went through. Um, bitten court there to get the ball but Werder Bremen have a chance to take the lead on nine minutes play Klassen from the spot and has scored the first goal of the German Cup Werder Bremen take an early lead in the DFB Pokal it's 1-0 booze around Borussia Park whether it seems the fans do not think that was a penalty I think it was a bit 50-50 uh, maybe but uh, a great penalty there from Klassen, the former Everton midfielder, or striker, I think, whatever. The former Everton player puts it past Sipel, who goes the wrong way. And as it stands, Borussia Mönchengladbach are behind again for the second consecutive match in this episode. David Klassen, two goals in the DFB Pokal. 
And Werder Bremen have scored once again at Borussia Park. It's Mönchengladbach 1, Werder Bremen 0. Uh, 1 0, whatever. <laughs> 35th minute here is Imbolo for Mönchengladbach. Great pass there to find Stindl. And Imbolo's on the charge, and he's onside. Borussia Mönchengladbach level in the German Cup. They're not going out without a fight. And Imbolo has put the falls level at Borussia Park. And deservedly so. Brilliant piece of play there from Stindl and Imbolo. One pass after another. Imbolo charged, cut open the defence. And a brilliant strike on his right foot. And the hopes of progressing to the quarterfinals of the German, of the DFB Pokal, are still alive for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Briel Mbolo, three goals in the DFB Pokal. Two of them, of course, came at Pubin Münster. And it is now Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Werder Bremen 1 on 37 minutes. And the half-time whistle goes. And level pegging at Borussia Park. And I think uh, that, that's fair enough. You know, both teams performance-wise have been pretty, pretty steady but in the snowy conditions. And... Uh, yeah, after a rather controversial penalty from Werder Bremen, which uh, which David Klassen converted, put them 1-0 up. But we fought back with a great strike from Imbolo. It means at half-time at Borussia Park, it's Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Werder Bremen 1 in the round of 16 of the DFB Pokal. Let's take a look at the other results around the grounds. Frankfurt are 1-0 up against Mainz. Hamburg are 1-0 down against VfL Wolfsburg. Hürde Berlin and Dusseldorf are drawing. And Bayer Leverkusen are 1-0 down against Red Bull Leipzig. Onto the second half highlights. Well, it wasn't much really in truth. A uh, bit of a stalemate between the two sets of teams. Um, uh, so the full 90 minutes is completed, which means only one thing for Borussia Mönchengladbach and Werder Bremen, which is probably not what we want. It means extra time and the possibility of penalties is also looming. It's finished 1-1 at the end of 90 minutes. And the full-time results around the, the, around the grounds are Frankfurt won 3-0 against FSV Mainz. Hamburg lost 3-0 at home to VfL Wolfsburg. Hertha Berlin won 1-0 against Fortuna Dusseldorf. And Bayer Leverkusen lost 2-0 at home to Red Bull Leipzig. So let's go on to the extra time highlights, specifically the second, the, uh, yeah, second period of extra time. And Werder Bremen have the ball here is Horst. And that's a great cross towards Klassen. Oh, Wow, what an effort. David Klassen who scored from the penalty spot, was aiming to score one of the goals of the German Cup. Wow. So unlucky it hit the crossbar. On to the dying minutes here of the second period of extra time. And two minutes to play, and Werder Bremen are on the charge. It's Horst, and Eggestern is there. Oh, no. Werder Bremen have scored right at the death. And Borussia Mönchengladbach are going to go out of the DFB Pokal. It's sweet revenge for Werder Bremen. They lead on our turf in the dying minutes and will progress to the quarterfinals. Mönchengladbach lost concentration at the back right at the very end. What a heartbreck for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Eggestern, the substitute, comes on and gives Mönchengladbach the killer a kick in the teeth. Edgestein, who scored his first DFB Pokal goal, has put Borussia uh, Mönchengladbach, uh, has put Werder Bremen, sorry, on the verge of Cup glory. And there goes the full time whistle. Heartbreak for Borussia Mönchengladbach. They work absolutely flat out. Just to get to penalties would have been a good achievement from the reserve team. But they lost it right at the very end, thanks to a late goal from Edges Stern in what, the 122nd minute. Absolutely gutted. We will not be progressing any further in the DFB Pokal, which means for the first time one of my career modes on the channel, there will be no domestic cup to go along. Uh, well, we won't end the season with a domestic cup. And full time at the end of extra time, it's Borussia Mönchengladbach 1, Werder Bremen 2. What a disaster. So, we have to put that <clears throat> very un disappointing cup exit to Werder Bremen to one side. It means we'll have to concentrate on Bundesliga action now. And uh, what a game we have here. We have uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach will play FSV Mainz in a snowy Borussia Park. And uh, it's a tale of two teams, really, in terms of their home form and the away domestic form. 
Mönchengladbach have played seven games at home and have won seven, have only lost one, collecting 21 points, while Nuremberg on their travels have only had one win in their seven games and they've had uh, six defeats as well. So they're having a horrible time away from home in the Bundesliga, FSV Mainz. They're also perilously close to uh, the bottom three. So uh, pretty imperative that they get back to, well, uh, producing better performances away from home as quick, quickly as possible. As quick as possible. So, as you can see, the reserve team, I decided to give, a, give them a run once again. Hopefully this time they won't let me down and, uh, yeah, have a, another bitterly disappointing defeat at home. So well, let's take a look at the lineups uh, for, for two teams, as you know, of course, for Borussia Mönchengladbach. It'll be the same lineup that played Werder Bremen. Of course, you may be thinking I should be playing the first team, but the rules are clear. Bottom nine teams in the league, the reserve team plays. For top nine teams, the first team plays. Pretty clear and simple. And we're on the verge of looking uh, for, well, going now 13 games unbeaten if we get any result, a good result out of FC Nuremberg. And there is Nuremberg's team there. Looks like they're going for a 4-3-3 lineup, which means uh, it's going to be difficult to break them down. Uh, and that's going to be, well, hopefully we'll produce an entertaining game, that's for sure. So let's go on to the first half highlights. The 10th minute here is Munchen Gladbach is in Bolo with the ball now. Aiming to cut the part Nuremberg's defence. He's parted to Patrick Hermann. Hermann is there. And Stindl is there as well. And there's Hermann. Patrick Hermann scores. And Borussia Mönchengladbach take the lead past 13 minutes. And that is some way to banish the demons of Werder Bremen and the German Cup disaster. Werder Bremen hit the front early. It's 1-0. Good little pass there from... Patrick Herman to find Stindl, and Stindl had the brilliant vision to find Herman in space and onside, as well as uh, attracting the other defenders to uh, Lars Stindl. And Patrick Herman delivers with a great strike. Patrick Herman's first goal of the Bundesliga, and Munchen Gladbach are off to a positive start. It is uh, Borussia Munchen Gladbach 1, FC Nuremberg 0. 18th minute, and oh, dispossessed there. Great dispossession there from Vestergaard. And Munchen Glamour could go on the charge. Here's Mbolo. Off he goes, and he's got the ball, and he's onside. And Borussia Munchen Glamour increased their lead. 2 0 coming up to 21 minutes. Munchen Glamour want to wrap up the points early. And Briel Mbolo scores once again at Borussia Park. He scored against Werder Bremen in the cup. He's now scored against FC Nuremberg in the league. Borussia Mönchengladbach flying out of the traps and are edging ever closer to that coveted fourth place. And the celebrations tell you that the boys are on fire in the Bundesliga at least. The boys of Borussia Mönchengladbach and past 21 minutes, it is Borussia Mönchengladbach 2, FC Nuremberg 0. 25th minute, Mönchengladbach are beginning to run away with this. Nuremberg are just being left for dead. Here comes Imbrolo, look at the pace. Three defenders can't stop him. Neither can the keeper. And it's 3-0 in 27 minutes. And that's three points wrapped up surely for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Imbrolo scores again. It's 3-0. Munchen Gladbach striding to their fourth consecutive victory. Brilliant run from Mbolo. Once again, Mainz paid the price for dispossessing the ball, not keeping the ball under their possession. And Briel Mbolo just went on the charge and scores his second goal of the game. And Borussia Munchen Gladbach's third, his fourth now of the Bundesliga season, is looking to be one of those rather emphatic victories. We haven't had one of them for a bit of a while. But past 28 minutes, it's Borussia Mönchengladbach 3, FC Nuremberg 0. And there goes the half-time whistle. A fantastic first-half performance from the reserve team, who certainly, certainly have proved their mettle after the disappointment of Werder Bremen in the car. Brillo Bull has had an outstanding game. No wonder he's been a handful for defenders, according to that statistic. Three shots, three, uh, four shots, 
three of them on target. Two of them were goals. And also a goal for Patrick Herman as well. Half time at Borussia Park. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach three, FC Nuremberg nil. And uh, let's go on to the half time results. Borussia Dortmund are drawing Red Bull Leipzig 1 uh, 1. Fortuna Dusseldorf are drawing 0 0 with Hanover 96. Frankfurt are 1 0 down against FC Köln. Bayer Leverkusen are 1 0 up against Herder Berlin. And VfL Wolfsburg are 2 0 up against uh, Schalke. So not going very well for Schalke, is it? It's getting even worse. And it's pretty important that Dortmund and Leipzig game. It could help us maybe get closer or maybe get to the top four. On to the 70th minute as uh, Mainz have defended pretty well. But here on the attack goes Lars Stendhal from a great pass to Mimbolo. It's 4 now. Borussia Mönchengladbach are in cruise control. And they're running right here at Borussia Park. An assist from Mimbolo. He's been fantastic in this match. And Lars Stendhal has now put himself on the score sheet. Mönchengladbach got the ball and went on the charge and Lars Stindl was the man who has fired Mönchengladbach now into a 4-0 lead and the confidence is now oozing from the reserve team and the top four is getting closer and closer to Mönchengladbach his fourth goal of the season now for Lars Stindl and would you believe it it is now Borussia Mönchengladbach 4 FC Nuremberg nil. On to the 78th minute. Oh, brilliant bit of skill there from Lars Stindl. Here's Mbolo. He lays the ball to Lars Stindl. And Stindl is there. He's onside. And oh, it's going to go in. It will. It's Fabian Johnson. And he's on the score sheet as well. Brilliant bit of play there from Munchen Gladbach for likes of Strobel, Mbolo, Stindl. And finally, Fabian Johnson who finished it off. Brilliant bit of skill and a brilliant bit of creative work and play from Borussia Mönchengladbach. They are tearing Nuremberg apart. And Fabian Johnson, he scored his first Bundesliga goal since the 7-1 demolition of Eintracht Frankfurt at Borussia Park. He may have been promoted to the secondary team, but he's, uh, he's doing all right. And he scored his second goal of the season. 81 minutes played in a fatic scoreline in the Bundesliga. It is Borussia Mönchengladbach 5, FC Nuremberg 0. And the full-time whistle is going to blow. A fantastic result and fantastic performance from Borussia Mönchengladbach. The reserve team certainly have uh, put on a five-star performance against a bitterly disappointed FC Nuremberg. Three goals in the first half, three goals in the first 27 minutes of the first half. Two from Mbolo and one from Patrick Herman. And Borussia Mönchengladbach were far too good over Nuremberg. One of the best performances of the season, no doubt. And the top four is getting closer and closer to Borussia Mönchengladbach. 13 games unbeaten. He's finished Borussia Mönchengladbach 5, FC Nuremberg 0. So let's go on to the Bundesliga table then. Bayern Munich are still top with 41 points now. They have 13 wins, 2 draws, just 1 defeat. 39 goals scored, 6 goals conceded. They have the best attack and defence in the league. Bayer Leverkusen are still second with 37 points. 12 wins, 1 draw, 2 defeats. 29 goals scored, 13 conceded. And they have a game in hand as well. Uh, Borussia Dortmund a third with 36 points. 11 wins, 3 draws, 2 defeats. 34 goals scored, 7 conceded. But look at that, finally. <laughs> Borussia Mönchengladbach are into the top four for the first time this season. They have also the same amount of points as Borussia Dortmund. They've scored 33 goals. 33 goals and have conceded 14. Uh, Red Bull Leipzig are down to 5th with 35 points. Um, 11 wins, 2 draws, 3 defeats, 28 goals scored, 10 conceded. Uh, TSG Hoffenheim are 6th with 32 points. 10 wins, 2 draws, 4 defeats, 24 goals scored, 11 conceded. VFO Wolfsburg still in 7th position with 28 points. 16 wins, 9 draws, 1 defeat, uh, 6 goals scored and... Uh, 6 defeats, sorry, 30 goals scored and uh, 16 goals conceded. Hertha Berlin is 8th with uh, 25 points. Uh, Werder Bremen is 9th with 20 points. FC Köln is 10th with 19 points. FC Augsburg is 11th with also 19 points. 12th and 13th is Eintracht Frankfurt and Fortuna Düsseldorf with 18 points. Uh, 14th is FSV Mainz with 13 points. 15th uh, there is Hanover 96 who have 11 points. They played a game in hand over some of their rivals. They have three wins, two draws, 12 defeats, 13 goals scored 
and 34 conceded. Pretty appalling, really. Um, as you can come on to the bottom, as we come on to the bottom three clubs in the relegation playoff is FC Nuremberg, who have just 10 points, three wins, one draw, 12 defeats, 15 goals scored, and 38 conceded. Schalke are in big, big trouble. They are now in the relegation zone with just nine points, two wins. Uh, three draws, 10 defeats, 13 goals scored and 32 conceded. But they have uh, two games in hand over Hanover 96 and one in hand over FC Nuremberg. So all is not lost. And BB Stuttgart are stuck at the bottom with five points. One win, two draws, 13 defeats, eight goals scored and 43 conceded. The worst in both, uh, both departments in the league. Um, let's go on to the other results of the G German Cup the DB Pokal um, you probably saw it. we lost so that was great and Bayern Munich beat for Borussia Dortmund 2-1 uh, in the uh, Classica of the version of the German Cup uh, Hoffenheim also beat uh, Union Berlin Freiburg lost narrowly to Schalke and Hertha Berlin uh, uh, won as well on to the quarterfinals then Hoffenheim will host VfL Wolfsburg Werder Bremen will play Frankfurt Hertha Berlin will play Red Bull Leipzig, Bayern Munich host Schalke. That's an interesting tie there. The uh, round of 16 draw for the Champions League has been made. We've got some really juicy ones, actually. Atalanta will play Real Madrid. What a first ever round of 16 tie for them. Bayern Munich will play Liverpool. That's a big match. Barcelona and Piemonte de Calcio, or uh, Juventus. And uh, the other page here, we've got PSG versus Inter Milan. Atletico Madrid versus Manchester City. Napoli versus Valencia. And Red Bull Leipzig will play Tottenham Hotspur. Just like in real life. <clears throat> in the uh, round 32 stage of the Europa League, FC Cop and Hyven will play Chelsea. Lewin won an interesting match. Mucin Gladbach will be playing Rangers of Scotland. That's how ironic. That's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a really interesting tie, actually. I'm really looking forward to that. We've got Roma versus Arsenal. That's a big one. Eintracht Frankfurt will be playing Wolverhampton Wanderers as well. So uh, some interesting ties there on the first page. On the other page, we've got <laughs> Celtic versus Borussia Dortmund. That's going to be an interesting tie. Liga Warsaw will play uh, Manchester United. I can only see one winner in that. Besiktas will play AC Milan. Uh, AZ of the Netherlands will play RST Espanyol of uh, Spain. Galatasaray, the Turkish champions, will be playing Dynamo Kiev of Ukraine. Red Bull Salzburg will be playing the Europa League specialist Sevilla. Um, Sporting Lisbon will be playing Bayer Leverkusen. Olympiakos will be playing uh, PSV Eindhoven. And on the final page, we've got San Etienne versus FC Porto, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Lazio, it's an interesting one, uh, Strasbourg versus Benfica, the Portuguese champions, and Catafe will be playing VFL Wolfsburg. So some really interesting ties there in both European competitions as well as the DFP Pokal. On to the uh, preview for the next episode, we begin with the last game of 2019 in game, with a big away match actually, away at Hertha Berlin in the capital of Germany. Then we will... Begin the new year, January 2020, with transfer business, which hopefully we can sort some issues out with the reserve team. Uh, I've got some plans for that. Then we will commence a big match, actually, top versus bottom there, as a Schalke, we will go away to Schalke, who are in the relegation zone. And then we will have Bundesliga action, where we will be playing FSV Mainz at Borussia Park. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.